earlier video we have discussed about that photosynthesis process and what are the components are required for every component how it is useful for that photosynthesis for that we have an experiment also for actually what is the photosynthesis equation 6CO2 plus 12H2O gives C6H12O6 glucose molecule 6O2 plus 6H2O in presence of sunlight with the help of green color pigment chlorophyll which is present in the chloroplast which can absorb capture sunlight these four components are required to perform photosynthesis to produce glucose molecule organic molecule later it will turn into starch which is like stored food it will plants will store in various organs and oxygen is evolved hydrogen water is released today how the sunlight is necessary for this photosynthesis process we have to do an experiment for that already i draw this diagram because while the teaching this shading and all it will take time for that already i draw this picture so this required materials what are the required materials for this experiment required very less materials are required for light experiment pot plant black sheet black sheet of paper iodine solution iodine is used to uh, test which product starch whether starch is there or not starch is there with iodine and that color will become bluish black in earlier videos we have, we have discussed that now we have to take a pot plant which is very healthy green in color that pot plant should keep in a dark room for for how many days Three to four days. Why should we keep in a dark room? Dark room means there is no availability of sunlight. Means there is no way to way to perform photosynthesis. But the plant has to survive. How the plant can survive? Already earlier days because of photosynthesis, plant already they produced starch. They stored in the form of starch. They produced actually glucose. Glucose is stored in the form of starch. That starch is utilized by this plant all these three, four days. After four days, starch won't be there in those leaves because sunlight is not there. Until four days, the plant has survived by using the starch which is stored in those leaves. Then, take out the pot plant and keep it under sunlight. While keeping we should take a black paper. On that paper, we have to cut like this shape S or any C shape. Like this or O as you wish. Have to cut the black paper and that black sheet of paper, paste it on the leaf which we are going to keep under the sunlight. After how much time we should keep? It depends upon the intensity of the sunlight. 3 to 4 hours. Sometimes it will take like 6 hours. Okay, anyway we should keep under the sunlight for 3 to 4 hours. After that, pluck a leaf from this plant. Which, which leaf we have to pluck? The black sheet of paper where we have pasted that black sheet of paper. That leaf we need to pluck. Pluck it and remove the black paper from the leaf. After that, we need to add iodine drops to this leaf. After few minutes, after adding iodine drops, 
we need to observe the color of the leaf whether it is green in color or bluish black we should observe properly then we where we can see this color of the leaf tip part apex of the leaf and base part of the leaf and where we have cut the black paper those three parts have focused into sunlight so this part has become which color bluish black remaining part of the leaf which part didn't get the sunlight which we have covered with black paper that part doesn't change its color because what is the difference for from this part to this part it means this part is getting sunlight along with carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is there in the atmosphere water is there in the pot chlorophyll is there in those leaves three components are getting all these parts but this green colored part has covered with black paper so this part didn't get sunlight except sunlight all three all three components are getting so we remain the, these uh, bluish black parts are getting four components carbon dioxide water sunlight chlorophyll so without sunlight plant cannot perform photosynthesis by this experiment what we can understand that without sunlight the other three components also uh, are there also the plant cannot perform photosynthesis so sunlight is necessary at last we can tell that sunlight is necessary to perform photosynthesis photosynthesis that sunlight is captured by chlorophyll pigments thank you